Hello. Today we're going to talk about the uh, application of Archimedes' principle. I was looking at how to spell Archimedes. Archimedes. Okay, so let's recall Archimedes principle. It basically says the buoyancy is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. Right? So displaced fluids weight. Okay. So um let's see if we uh the first application we say it's a wood right floats on the water okay so let's uh take a look at this example let's see this is the water level and there's a piece of wood like that okay and let's just assume that those of the wood it's equal to uh say i'm just going to give an example say 500 um, kilogram per meter cube okay for this particular wood and the waters right so the water it's equal to 1000 kilogram per meter cube okay so we're going to calculate if we want to calculate the, the buoyancy on this wood right how do we do that so first of all we know this wood is at rest right so that tells us that we can use newton's first law right so newton's first law okay so then let me change color here so we have the weight of the wood, right? The weight of the wood, okay? And we have also the buoyancy. And there are only these two forces acting on it right now. There's no other force. One is the buoyancy and one is the weight, right? So the buoyancy is acting on the wood by the water, right? So this is acting on, act on the wood by water, right? In the way it's act on the wood, right? Look at the recipient, both are wood, right? By the earth, right? Then there's no, no other, uh, other potential player here that can act on the wood, right? With any other force, unless you have some currents and you have some other, uh, you know, this is actually accelerating in the water, right? If not, that's it. So we know B, right, the buoyancy on the wood is equal to the weight of the wood itself, right? So let's say weight of the wood, it's equal to the volume of the wood, right? This is the weight of the wood, okay? Volume of the wood times zone of the wood, right? Okay? So if we know the volume, then we know the buoyancy. So in this case, let's say the volume, right? If we know the volume, let's say the volume, I'm sorry, the volume is equal to say, um, you know, 0 0.1 meter cube, right? So that's equal to uh, 0 0.1 and then times zo wood, which is 500. So then you will have 50, right? So that's your buoyancy and that's in Newton, right? So that will be your your uh, buoyancy on the wood, which is 50 Newton. And then your weights, right? Your weights of the wood, it's also equal to 50 Newton. Okay. So that's, that's uh, one application for the Archimedes principle. Um, and so we're gonna stop here, bye-bye.